guys, this is the names. Here I am driving this now. The amount of time that I almost fell on my ass. Guys, I made some eggs for extra protein. About to bundle up. It's snow early this week and there's still a lot of snow on the ground. It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want to show you my base before I put all those things on. These pants are my most worn pants of 2023. I think I'm gonna film a video about my most worn but they are so comfortable. I like the taper fit of them. They're not new to my wardrobe. They're just new to me wanting to wear them all the time. So I'm so glad I rediscovered them. This top I got it two years ago from Arezia and I love the square neck of it I think it's very flattering and it's nice and simple but because of the style of the square neck it makes it more elegant and it's just easy to throw it on and elevate any outfit because of the weather condition I wanted to wear something nice and comfortable but also tall so I don't get snow in or wet feet these combat boots are from Reformation I got in also on sale on a Black Friday it wasn't this Friday but it was like the Black Friday before <laughs> it's also gonna tie it in with my black coat this coat you've probably seen before because I have wore it a few times on a few videos I also took it to my Europe trip and it took half of my suitcase but no regrets I love how comfy it is it has this sterling material inside and then a leather top and I love the fit and the style of it. This hat, I got it on a trip last year. I was in Italy and I went into this hat store and this one of the two that I got and I love. It's 100% wall, handmade, and it's the only beanie in the styles that I have and I wear so often. Driving in the snow fell foreign for some reason. This is my second winter here in Nashville. But before this, for 10 years, I lived in one of the top 10 states with the most fatal accident due to weather condition, if all that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm trying to say so I'm not new to driving in the snow. I love winter and all that comes with it except for the driving. <laughs> Driving is a whole nother game. Today I had to leave because I had some errands to run. I stopped for coffee, but then I have to go to FedEx to get something printed and then to the post office to mail some things that I saw on Poshmark. So here I am driving in the snow. <laughs> I had a credit with the brand Cezanne and trying to choose the piece or pieces that I wanted to get with this credit was a struggle because a few years before you know how much I love the brand ultimately though I decided to go with these two simple classy pieces that I know are going to add to my wardrobe and only versatile enough that I can wear to the grocery store or to a more fancy occasion if you will but there were also pieces that I've been eyeing or been needing in my wardrobe. This first piece is a net sweater slash cardigan. As soon as I saw it on the website, I loved it. And I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe. If you watched any of my previous styling videos, you know how much I love my stripes. I think they are a subtle way to add pattern to your wardrobe without doing too much. Especially if you like me, you have a more minimal neutral style. Here's the first piece. I love that you can wear it as a cardigan, but also as a sweater because it has this button on the side they are this uh, traditional brown and tan buttons the sleeves are a little long which is normal for me but i think you can cuff them and wear it like that i really like the silhouette of it i like it like this with this denims but also with like layer over a little dress less coat or even a pair of black trousers would look really good but the options for a cardigan or a sweater like this are endless it's made of a wool cotton blend and it's not a softer material but it's not scratchy at least not on my skin i still prefer to wear something underneath my sweater whether it's a t-shirt or a tank top and so i do plan on doing that i have a couple white shirts on my wardrobe but i do wear them often especially during the winter months to layer underneath it and for some reason they just get dirty like that i do laundry once a week and so if i wear them two days in a row then i don't have any more shirts to wear underneath it and so i decided to give me a third one i love that you have the option of customizing it for mine i put key set with a little hot which is a french way of saying who knows or what will be be or the spanish version of saying que sera sera which is my vision board as well something that i strongly believe in and try to remind myself of that here's a shirt with a little custom design on it this comes in a more classic look i'm usually a true small extra small and so this is the perfect fit for what i was looking for 
I like to use them for layering or to wear by itself during the warmer months. But this is perfect. Didn't mean to get that deep on this little try on, but that is what I ordered from the brand. <laughs> So I have this full slash Thanksgiving theme bathroom curtain up since September and not even when I did my Christmas decor, I took it down for some reason. I just got busy. I had my whole Europe Christmas trip coming up and I just didn't do it on time. And so here I am changing it back to nice, simple, no theme bathroom curtain and I did iron it because everything looks better with iron and voila. I need to go to my gym and gave me a lower body workout. But before I do so, I'm feeling like a hot cocoa and then do some reading. I haven't read since I got back from my vacation, which is like a week or so ago. So I feel like just chilling for a little bit and getting some reading done. So for my hot cocoa, I have almond milk, some cocoa powder, and some cinnamon sticks. I feel like I'm missing something, but don't know what it is. So let's miss the cocoa. It's one of those days that I just want to eat the whole world. It is dinner time now. I just got back from the gym and I haven't met my protein goals, so I'm thinking breakfast tacos. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. Dinner is served, so I have some corn tortillas, scrambled eggs, veggie sausages, and avocado. Oh, and I added some hot sauce because I like it spicy. I'm getting ready to head out to my second job, and I wanted to show you the outfit because I think it's a nice business casual outfit. My trousers are from Everlane. I have them for two, three years, I want to say, and I love the fit of them. I have them in three colors and material compositions. The other ones are in a linen material, so they put away in my storage bin. But I love how loose they are over here, but they are more fitted on the waistline and they go super high waisted on my longer torso. <laughs> I have to hem him. I haven't decided if I'm gonna hem him. I don't mind the cuff look, so that's why I haven't. But overall, very nice and comfy, and I love the Guinean pattern. The sweater is also from Everline, which I did not intend to do a whole Everline outfit look, but I love the fit and the shape of this sweater, and I just love the look together. They're both looser pieces, but I don't think they look overwhelming on my petite frame. My Converse, because I want to be nice and comfortable and my necklace is from my Lacoste which is one of my favorite jewelry store and let me show you the other way even though it's 20 degree Fahrenheit I don't need a thick coat because of the material composition of these pieces this one is made in wool and so it's gonna keep it nice and warm I do get warm really easily and so this combined it's gonna be enough this is made in cashmere it's a coat from the curated and this one has easily become my most warm bag of the year because I've been wearing it every day since I got it in um, Europe Crap. <laughs> the time 157 that I almost fell on my ass in the snow. 
fun times, fun times. For today's lunch, I'm having rice and chicken and I'll just have to cook my Brussels sprouts, my avocado and my seaweeds. I usually pan fry my Brussels sprouts with garlic and salt, but my chicken has garlic in it. So today I'm going to skip the garlic on the Brussels sprouts and just pan fry them with um, maybe salt and pepper. Let's do it. I also made some eggs for extra protein, but that is my lunch. It's a work from home kind of Friday. I am leaving just to get some coffee and then come right back and get my work done. I am recreating my airport outfit that I wore when I was coming from London. Both of these pieces are from Cezanne, the top and the bottom. They were bought years apart, but I do have reviews on them, so I'll link those videos down below. This is the little teen jumper, and it's made in the thick cotton material. And you know me, I love my stripes, and so I love that it has a lot of stripes and this button details. It's just a go-to of mine, especially when it starts getting colder. Today is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And my pants are this almost like yoga pants style. They are wide leg and so more elevated, and I just love how comfortable they are. My hat, because my hair is dirty and ready to be washed, so I'll do that later today. This hat is from Everlane. I got it on sale, so I'm not sure if it's still available. And then my sneakers are also from Everlane. Both years ago, also on sale. I'm going to wear my coat and my crossbody bag, but I'll show you that after I get my coffee. I hate to be that person that complains about the weather, but can we just complain for a sec? Actually, it's not even the weather. I am perfectly fine with the weather. It's about big establishments not cleaning their parking lots. Like, I understand it's natural. We're not equipped for this kind of weather. But what, why aren't we? Because we do get this weather once in a while. And it's not even about, you know, private property. It's like this huge multi-million dollar establishment that has, like, icy parking lot. The amount of time that I almost fell on my ass as I carry my coffee from the coffee shop to my car, <laughs> I can't remember. I was telling the guy that I met on the parking lot, completely stranger. I was just walking by and he was walking next to me and I was like, if my coffee falls, I'm going to be so pissed. They're going to have to remake my coffee and more. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> I need my coffee. <laughs> I forgot to film my outfit outside when I got my coffee. So here's the look. Just imagine that I have my tennis shoes. I took them off because they are wet. And I don't want to bring that snow wetness inside my apartment. But this is the look. <laughs> Here's looking a little puffy because I just washed it and put it into braids so I can dry like that. Today I'm staying home. I'm just gonna go get some coffee and come right back. I was gonna go to a Pilates class, but due to other conditions, they cancel it. So I still put my leggings on as a reminder that I need to get a workout in. So underneath the sweater, I have a workout top. This sweater, I usually don't gravitate towards pink, but it was a gift, and so I kept it and wear it at home. It's a nice, thick, cozy material. I love the button detail. And my leggings are like eight years old. <laughs> They have a little hole inside here that I have to sew. It's not visible, but it's just so old and I refuse to get rid of them. My sneakers are from Everlane. And on top, I'm wearing this puffer jacket that I wore early this week. I don't think I'll be leaving the apartment today. It is 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which for most people, at least in this area, it's extremely cold and they don't want to leave their houses. <laughs> but for now, this is the comfy, cozy at-home outfit. 
It was so sunny even though there was snow on the ground still melting, but it was beautiful sunny winter day. I went down to the gym as soon as I woke up and got myself some coffee, came back upstairs. I filmed a sit down video. I had lunch just now and I'm going to sit down and do some editing for the video I just filmed. I'm trying to get this vlog finished too. <laughs> what just happened? This video unintentionally turned into a work from home winter outfits. I had no idea I was going to be at home all week, but here we are with another work from home outfit. This pants is part of a set that I got from Reformation on a Black Friday sale. And today I decided to style it with this top instead. It's from Everlane. And I got it two years ago and I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it because though it's cropped and it has some openings in it with this lace detail it is made in wool so it's nice and warm and cozy and so i wear it a lot at home but also outside of the house my slippers are from free people 